This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. Click the Fight TV link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support this show and watch pro wrestling, MMA, boxing, and so much more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash WrestlingMayhemShow. Hey guys, it is the Indie Mayhem Show. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron and Twitter. Video producer here with some video uh, or some professional wrestling groups here in the uh, Pittsburgh area, IndieWrestling.us. And, uh, and we will talk about indie wrestling with indie wrestlers and people around pro wrestling in general. Uh, you can check out everything out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can subscribe to this and other shows on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, Google Play Music, as well as uh, video versions on the Wrestling Mayhem Show YouTube and Facebook page live streaming whenever we uh, get an interview check out the events on the wrestling mayhem show uh facebook page too and of course you can support the show let us know questions of people coming up people you want on the show that we can try to get locked down at good times at wrestling show.com or 412-206 wms0 so we got we had kind of a a, a first time or request uh, uh somebody de- uh demanding to demanding. return to the show demanding to return to the show he is, uh, as we have affectionately uh, called him since Canadian Dry, Jackson Ar- Argos is joining us here today. Uh, thank you for, for coming on, or I guess wanting to be on uh, the show again. Well, I, I can only assume that people wanted me back as well. I, I, I was just searching for a media outlet, and Sorg, you happened to be one of the people who offered me uh, a place, and, and it, had, it fit into my schedule, and I was able to make it here and do this. So as angry as I am, Thank you for letting me do this. That's the nicest thing I'm going to say all night. Okay. I, I'm going to take that as a victory. So uh, you, we, we just had you on in January. You, you've been, uh, uh, you know, um, rookie of the yearing, I guess, for a while now. Yes. 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 It's been the, the most fantastic. It's been the greatest rookie year anyone has ever seen. Absolutely. And of course, and, and, I, and I saw even just this week on uh, Twitter, you are uh, obviously keeping in touch with Lance Storm. Yes, I try to keep in touch with Lance as best I can. I love him to death, and he loves me like a bastard son. So that's that's just great, the relationship that we have. Thank you for bringing that up. I'm a pretty man, Lance. Um, well, anyways, you, you posted a list earlier today, and, and people have been kind of sharing this around and, and kind of talking about it a little bit, um, which you have, like, that, that's the actual list that you posted on, on the internet. Uh, for, and we'll, we'll have that uh, with, with the post here on Wrestling Man. This is show. the agenda of Argos. Thank the you very much. Of yes, Argos. it's the agenda for the evening. The things that I will be talking about, the things I choose to bring up, Sorg. Thank you very much. Okay, well, usually I have a format, but it, well, what do you want to It's my about? show tonight. You do what I tell you to do, and the first thing you will do is put on this hat. Uh, what is... What the heck? What Put is, it on. What is this even made out of? Put it on. I don't know if my camera can handle this. That will be your hat for the remainder of the evening. Right. I guess it's better than it's better than an Enzo hat, I guess. Yeah, wear um, it. Hold on, I gotta put it, gotta rearrange things a little bit here. That's your what? Canadian dunce cap. Hey, deal the, with it. Canadian heads are as big as mine. That's nice to see. Are you saying that I have a big head? No, I mean good because well, I, I don't. Does this fit you? Yes. Anyway, moving on. Uh, so let's, let's start going through the list. And I'm going to hop around and bounce around. So if you're following at home, if you saw my list earlier, uh, yeah, I'm going to be jumping around a lot. So first things first, what the hell was with uh, Justin Plummer advertising that Team Storm was finally going to get tag team title shots in Royal Valley and then pulls back at the last minute? So can we just discuss that's why I don't have gold around my waist right now? It was last It's mi- not my fault. Don't interrupt me. R.C. Dupree and Jackson Argo should be the IWC Tag Team Champions right now. But no, I understand that Duke Davis had some family things to deal with. But in that situation, you strip your champions. If they can't defend their belts, you put them on the people that deserve them, the hardest working men from Canada in Pittsburgh. And that's all I have to say about Locked and Loaded for the time being. Can, can I ask a question about Locked and Loaded? Ah, uh, sure. Um, they, 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 actually, the episode before you, they were just featured. 
uh, with their new championship belts um, that went on the feed here. And uh, they, they, they really kind of stepped up the game here for uh, uh, kind of the best dressed. Well, I, I guess I guess we got competition now with his hat, but um, on on the Mayhem show. Now, first of all, best dressed, you're looking at him right here. I look fantastic in black. I always match. And also, if I, I guess I will backtrack a minute uh, because I did watch the little locked and loaded uh, tampering with the Team Storm photo. And as you see, I've taken over the set this evening. We have photos of myself everywhere that they should be. Our Team Storm photo right here that I will be signing before I leave because I'm a nice person, contrary to popular belief. I didn't appreciate what they did to the set while I was here. And if they ever come back on the show and touch property of Team Storms, we will just... We're just going to have to take their property, and their property happens to be gold. I do appreciate that the only only thing that you didn't cover up was uh, fellow Canadian Chris Jericho's photo or uh, caricature behind you there hanging out. Chris Jericho's cool. Yeah. I'll let that slide. Well, now I'm moving on. We're done with Locked and Loaded. So looking ahead, I, I, I do have a question, though, because IWC will be having uh, Unbreakable on October 14th. And I, I have to assume, I have to safely assume that Justin Plummer is going to make up for the mishap we had in Royal Valley. I, I, I haven't heard anything about exactly what they're going to offer me to do that evening, but I will be there, as will R.C. Dupree, as will Jack Pollock. And I would love, I would love for everyone to show up and see exactly how Justin Plummer is going to say, and I quote, I'm sorry, Team Storm. And he will say that. Moving right along. October 27th, IWC will be... This is the one time I'm going to smile for the evening. IWC will be in Wheeling, West Virginia. And for those of you that don't know, Jackson Argos was born in Wheeling, West Virginia. I know, I know. We all, we all know the story of me moving to Canada, and that's where I was born again. However, my hometown, the casino in which I made a lot of money to fund my trip to Canada, the casino on Wheeling Island will be hosting IWC's event. But more importantly than the event that they're hosting, Sorg, it's my birthday. It's your birthday on the show. My birthday's the and, night uh, before. The night, oh, the night the before. Night before the but we're celebrating okay. on October 27th. So so that's I'm, I will smile and I will be happy for a moment. And that moment leaves me quickly because I, I got news that somebody will be there that evening to try and steal my spotlight. And that's why I'm here to inform him and everybody else that Jerry Lawler is not invited to my birthday party. You can come to the casino, sign all the autographs you want, do whatever you want for the evening. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. But don't even think about showing up to my birthday party and stealing the attention off of me, okay? Okay? I know you. I know you, wait, Jerry. Wait, don't wait. interrupt me! I know you, Jerry Lawler. I've watched you my entire life. I watched you growing up as a child. And every chance someone else had to be center stage, you just had to take the spotlight, and you won't do that on my freaking birthday! What, Sorg? So you're banning the proprietor of puppies from your birthday party? Jerry Lawler is not invited to my birthday party. And that is that. Okay. Thank you, Sorg. Can, uh, further, can I ask another question about uh, that night? What 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 do you want for your birthday? What do I want for my birthday? What exactly do I want for my birthday? You know, I I want to I want to be happy. I I'm so tired of being so angry. It's it seems as though every what am I? Are you kidding me? I want chips to go play poker. I'd love a new car as much as I love my Kia. I would love a new car. I could always use extra black t-shirts. Uh, I have I already have a couple guinea pigs, but I could use more. They're so cuddly and adorable. There's so many things that you could get me. Uh, signs, my face, a cardboard cut out of me and not Shawn Michaels who you have in the corner and I've covered them up for the night. So many things. I want a new Jack Pollock t-shirt. I want new I want new RC Dupree artwork. I want everything cool. I want You know what I want? I want a Chris LaRusso t-shirt if anybody could find one. 
There are so many things I want for my birthday. And, and I would love some gold. Gold would be fantastic for my birthday. So thank you. Thank you for asking. Whew. So that's, uh, that's October 27th at Wheeling Island Casino. I'll be there. You should too. Can I move, can I move along now, Sorg? Do I have to wear this for your birthday? I would appreciate if you wore that. Like ringside with the camera? You know what? No, I, I don't, I I don't know. Be because, because here's the thing, Sorg. I don't want you walking around representing Canada again trying to I mean, steal the spotlight from me. I'm going to be the one representing Canada for the night. But you gave me the hat. You only wear that hat when I'm in your studio. That's the okay. new rule. Okay. I'm writing it down. Bingo. That's the plan. So then, um, I guess I, while, while I'm here more already on the subject, I should look ahead. Uh, IWC's next event after that is in, is in December. And, and, and that, that's, that's the big one. Winner takes all, the end of the year. And I know we have, we have some uh, shows going on in between there, but the reason I bring that up is I want people to be ready because as we prepare for my birthday, we should also prepare for an anniversary. Do you know, do you know what winner takes all in December is? Do you know what that is the anniversary of? Of uh, your life. I'm just going to tell you. I'm just going to tell you. I'm just gonna okay. tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. You can guess, but I'll tell you. It's the night that Jack Pollock arrived in IWC and Team Storm won a ladder match and signed full time contract with IWC. So mark your calendars. That's a lot to put on a card. Well, you know what? I'll just, I'll just say it then. Sorry. Okay. But that, that is the one year anniversary of just. The greatest night, in, in, dare I say, all of professional wrestling? Uh, is that safe to say? Fair. Okay. That was a fantastic night. So I wanted everyone to mark their calendars and, and call off work. Use your sick days. Do something. Remember, that's the biggest, the biggest day. You have all this time in October. You have all this time in November. You have so much time to plan these things out. Just remember the one year anniversary. Sheesh. Moving right along. And uh, here's another thing I, I'm a bit angry at. And, and I felt the need to discuss it. Myself and Jack Pollock were invited to CKCW in, in Cleveland, Ohio, to make our, our big debut. And, and right before we came out, uh, management thought that it was the best idea to announce that at their anniversary show on November 11th, that they would, they would be welcoming the Rock and Roll Express. Which, it, it, great. Fantastic. Cool. But, but again, as I, as I mentioned earlier with Mr. Lawler, I don't appreciate yesterday's news showing up and stealing the spotlight from me. I truly don't. I don't appreciate that. I've worked way too hard. I've wrestled for an entire year. I deserve to have a little bit of spotlight. And, and, and they feel the need to, to shine up the crowd and get them excited about the Rock and Roll Express instead of getting them excited about the arrival of Team Storm? Rock and Roll Express, look at me. If, if you have a computer, listen to what I'm about to tell you. If you show up on November 11th in Cleveland, Jack Pollock and I are going to send you packing. And that's all I really have to say about that. So, moving right along. Any questions, Sorg? I'll give you a minute. Do you have any questions? Um, I somebody wants me to hug the pillow. Don't you touch my pillow. I heart can- Calgary Stampede. Don't touch my pillow. What 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 is Calgary Stampede for those that don't know? Calgary Stampede is the largest agricultural festival in all of the world, held in Calgary, Alberta, Canada every Ooh. single year. Are you kidding me? How does, how does no one know this? We know who, the, who every single Kardashian's married to, but we don't know what the Calgary Stampede is. Are you kidding me? I, I don't know any of those things. Uh, and, anyway, I'm, I'm going to go back to my list. I'm going to hop around here. And no, I'm not talking about Andrew Pallas. That's not going to happen. And, and for the record, I, I saw your stupid comment on Facebook. I, I am not sore and sour or whatever. That, grumpy, I believe, is what you call it. I'm not grumpy about war games. I'm not upset about war games. I'm not mad about the steel cage match. I did what I said I was going to do inside that steel cage. Moving right along. Okay. Da, 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 da. What do we do? What do we do? Who do we go to? So many things to talk about. Okay, okay. Who do I bring up next? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, here we go. This is a good one. 
I, I had someone mention the other day I was on, I was doing my little thing, scrolling through my Facebook and this and that. And then the name Josh Briggs popped up and somebody said to me, Oh, have you seen this guy? He's, he's only about a, you know, a year or so into the business. He's, he's a rookie guy too. And he's so great. And he's so this, and he's so talented and he's so amazing and phenomenal. And you should check this guy out. And my response was, but is he the rookie of the year? And it was, it was a no. And so I looked him up. I, I looked him up and down. He's, he's a big, big son of a gun. He's a very talented individual. But I, I do want people to know when, when they talk about a guy with a phenomenal first year in the business, they should be talking about Jackson Argos. Okay? So, so people, please, I, I appreciate you telling me to take a look at this guy. I don't need a tag team partner uh, right now of that size. Uh, Jack Pollock is my muscle, and R.C. Dupree is my muscular, amazing best friend. So I'm, I'm all set right there for now. So thank you, everyone, for that. And then another name that gets brought up to me all the time, and I felt the need to bring up, why, why are people talking to me about Mike Orlando? I, I had a fan tell me the other day that his, his, the green in his hair looked cooler than the red in mine, and I'm like, that's Ooh. just ridiculous. Hey, he had a good showing at Super Indy, though. Don't talk about Super Indy when I'm sitting here, okay? Do you want to bring up how I wasn't in the tournament this year, too? Do you want to bring that up? Why weren't you in the tournament? You know damn well why I wasn't in that tournament. I wasn't in that tournament because of Jonathan Gresham. And as I said before, I'm not here to talk about Jonathan Gresham. I'm not here to talk about Jonathan Gresham. I have nothing left to say about Jonathan Gresham. And if you bring up Jonathan Gresham again, I'm going to take that hat and I'm going to shove it where you don't want me to shove it. But back to my point before I was rudely taken off track. Mike Orlando, your hair's not cool. My hair's cool. I'm the best. If you, if you ever have the, uh, any pride in yourself, come to Pittsburgh, fight me, or, or I'll come to, to, to hang out with you and Danny Cage in Paulsboro, New Jersey, and I'll beat you all up and down the Monster Factory, and then we'll see how you look when you're, you're, you're black and blue and green. You stupid dummy. Got him. Moving right along. Da, 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 da. Who else can I talk about? Uh, the, the name, I had this name mentioned to me too. The name Myron Reed. Are, are we familiar with the name Myron Reed? Anyone here? We I'm know not, the name? I'm a lot of actually. buzz around this guy, right? Okay. Right? You want to hear a true story about Myron Reed? You want to hear a really a true, very true story? I went to a seminar in Berwyn, Illinois. Okay? I did. I travel. I do stuff. Okay. And, and, and the goal of the seminar was to stand out so much so that Michael Elgin would have a match with the best from that class. Do you know who he had a match with? Do you know who he picked? I'll give you a hint. It wasn't me. I had a match. I had a match that night with Tyler Matrix. And guess what? I won. I'm undefeated in the state of Illinois. But you know who was picked? Myron Reed. Myron Reed went on to have a match. And I didn't. I didn't have a match with Ring of Honor superstar Michael Elgin. He did. So when people message me, hey, have you heard about this guy? Yeah, I have. And you know what? I've been in the ring with him. And if I get in the ring with him again, I will break him. Moving right along. What are you, you're looking at your computer screen. Are people saying I mean, things? There's some questions. What somebody, are the, what are the, somebody what are the stupid asking, questions, Sorg? Uh, one of the questions was, how long are you going to be Rookie of the Year? I'm going to be the Rookie of the Year until somebody else is named Rookie of the Year. I, I, I'm... Is that not how it works? When a team wins the Super Bowl, do you ask them all year, how long are you guys the Super Bowl champs? That's the dumbest question I've ever been asked. Who asked that? That would be Danielle. Danielle, stupid question. Don't ask stupid questions. Who won the Super Bowl this year? Oh, guess what? They're the Super Bowl champs for the entire year. Is that not how it works? I won Rookie of the Year, so I'm the Rookie of the Year until somebody else is named Rookie of the Year. It's not that difficult. Can you, can you find a good question? Something? Something? Uh, let's see. We got uh, a couple in here uh, that are pretty similar, actually. Uh, hold on a second. One was asking if, uh, if that's your giant eagle uh, shopping list and something about dippy eggs. I hate everybody. I'm getting back to my list. I, I don't need your stupid questions. Uh, no, here, here's, a, here's a name. I'll, 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 be, I'll be kind for a minute. There, there's a guy who, who people have asked me about because they've drawn similarities between, between the two of us. Have, have you heard the name Maxwell Jacob Friedman? I have. I've heard it a lot. And I'm a fan of his work. I'm a fan of what he does. I'm a fan of everything he does up and down. And I, I, I love it. The guy has charisma. He has talent. He talks. He does everything well. He does remind me a lot of myself. And, I, and, and you know, just in case 
in case he happens to be watching, I wanted him to know that as alike as we are, if, if he is in ever need of someone to come up his way or, or meet up for a tag team match, I thought maybe I should at least get a matching scarf to look the part. But at the same time, like I mentioned earlier, I'm always matching. So my scarf would match my outfit. So, MJF, keep doing what you're doing. I approve. But please, uh, people, don't ever message me and, and compare me to someone that says I'm better than you because I like to tell people that I'm better than them. But maybe, maybe what we could say is not that I'm better than you or that you're better than me, but maybe we're just better together. Just a thought. Just food for thought. Moving right along. Gory, new super indie champion. I don't like you. That's it. I don't like him. That's all. That's all I had to say. Jimmy Vegas! Where does Jimmy Vegas, where does he get off eliminating me from the Royal Valley Rumble and then goes on to win it? Are you kidding me? We're all, we're all going to talk about how awesome Jimmy Vegas is because he won the first ever Royal Valley Rumble. It should have been Jackson Argos. It should have been R.C. Dupree, which, by the way, I'm also upset. Why the hell was R.C. Dupree entered number one? Why did he have to come out number one? Anyone? Anyone? Is that another is that, is that Justin Plummer question? I should probably ask Justin Plummer. Unbelievable. Moving right along. <sighs> Matt Connard. I don't really like you either. I, I, really, I just I, I don't like you. I, I just, I'm just not a fan. I mean, you say mean things to me. You talk about me badly on the internet. I just, I just don't like you. I've been in the ring with you before. You've tried to kick my face off to shut me up, and I won't shut up. It's just, it's not going to happen. So just, I don't like you, Matt Connard, at all, at all, at all, at all. Moving on. Oh, my goodness. I, this is a high spot for the night. I finally got to get in the ring during the Royal Valley Rumble and work with Bulk Nasty. Are you kidding me? How? How is this guy so ignored and overlooked? Did you see what he did to Hooven in the cage? Did you see what he did in the Royal Valley Rumble? This guy, he's got my approval. Now, Bulk, I didn't appreciate you chopping and slapping me around when I screwed up. I make mistakes. Didn't he give you a wet willy? He did. And you know what? I didn't appreciate that. And that's another reason why I'm kind of angry. I like you, Bulk. You've got moxie. But you got to stop being so mean to me. I, I don't. I just, I don't. Moving along. Sorg, how am I for time? Uh, you're doing good. We, we, we have a couple comments from the chat room. Sure. Some qu actually, some questions about your facial hair. Sure. Uh, first of all, uh, from Aaron. Uh, hi, I'm a longtime listener, longtime caller. Jackson, where did you get your facial hair sharpie at? Sharp, sharpied, sharpied, sharp, sharpie, sharpied. Might be French. This is how my facial hair grows. Okay, and if we're gonna we're gonna get back on the bandwagon and make in front of the way how I look, I'm just gonna get angry. I'm I was starting to calm down a little bit. Now I'm getting a little hot. Now I gotta take my scarf off. Something about iron filings. Shut up. Okay. Shut up. All right, and uh, we had another question. I think this is uh, in reference to to potential birthday presents. Sure. I think they want to bring you a Jonathan Gresham T-shirt. Who said that? Danielle. All right, you know what? Let's address this right now. Let's just address this right now because I'm getting sick and tired of this. I'm getting very, 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 very annoyed with this, this, this crap Jonathan Gresham situation that we keep bringing up, okay? First of all, Jonathan Gresham got in my business in January. We already discussed that. Moving on. I even the score by hitting him with a flag after he laughed in my face because I was hit with a steel chair. So we're done. We're even. But no, he decides to align himself with Andrew Palace. And suddenly, suddenly, oh, Gresham, Gresham has a problem with me again. I try to even it out. I'm the bigger man in this situation. And you know what happened when he got in the ring with me? You know what happened? We all know what happened. I drove his skull into the mat with a brainstorm and pinned him one, two, three in a cage in Elizabeth, Pennsylvania. But yet, everyone still wants to talk about how great Gresham is, even though I have put him in the past. I'm sick of hearing about this. I'm sick of hearing about Jonathan Gresham. Tell me I'm great. Don't tell me how great he is. If he's so great, why did I pin him, huh? Why did I pin him? Do you want to answer that for me, Sorg? War games, man. I'm sick of hearing about this. Everyone wants to talk about how great he is and how he's this fantastic talent. And it's so great when he comes in. You know what? I'm going to say it right now. I scared him away from IWC. Have we seen him since? 
No. And if he's smart, he'll stay away. Okay? Because I'm so sick of this. I'm the rookie of the year. I'm the guy that pinned Jonathan Gresham. I'm the one that eliminated him from war games. And yet people still want to talk about how great he is. They want to say, oh, but Argos, you hit him below the belt. Oh, and R.C. Dupree had the door locked. You had all this stuff, all this stuff. You cheated, you this, you that. It was war games. I did what I had to do to get the pin. He would have done the same thing to me if he was in my situation. So why, why, why is he still so much better than me in everyone's eyes? I have nothing left to say and nothing left to prove as far as Jonathan Gresham is concerned. And I would thank each and every one of you to let it go, to move on, and acknowledge that I pinned him and acknowledge that I'm better. And more importantly and most importantly, I never tapped out. I pinned Jonathan Gresham. Thank you. Moving right along. Hey, how about those mega plowers, huh? Remember when they came to IWC and they said they were going to take care of Team Storm? Remember that? I would just like to, to acknowledge that Team Storm, we were the catalyst for the breakup of the year. Magnum, what are you going to do without your buddy? Oh, moving right along. Guys, I, I wrestle a lot up in Akron, Ohio. I, I, I've been trying my hardest to win the Ohio Championship Wrestling, Ohio Heritage Championship from Jimmy Shane. And I just, I just keep getting held back by management. And I'm, I'm furious. That's another thing I'm furious about. Jimmy Shane, I'm going to take your championship and I'm going to change the Ohio Heritage title to the Canadian Heritage title. It's going to happen. I don't know how. I don't know when. And I don't know why it hasn't happened yet, but I'm going to be a champion in the state of Ohio. We actually have a question. Uh, this one's actually from BC Steel in the chat room. Sure. So, uh, he says, uh, Mr. Argos, big fan, I'd like to put on record that Bulk Nasty could have done much worse to you. I'd advise you to be thankful. Also, would you say that Canada's greatest import and export is Team Storm? Okay, first of all, I have nothing but good things to say about Bulk. I just don't appreciate when he puts his hands on me. I, I, I'm I not a fan of being in an abusive relationship. I, I dare I say I love the man. I just, I, I wish he would control his temper a little bit more. If you could help him with that, thank you. Secondly, as far as, as, as Team Storm goes, coming from Canada, I mean, can we think of anything better to come out of Canada in the last couple of years? Honestly, let's, like, honestly. And that's, that's not a knack on Canada. We're that awesome. Like, you've met all three of us. We're awesome. We've all been here in the studio. We've all been here in the studio. I have a bit of a temper. I, I get gifts. Like exactly, this, exactly. This, uh, amazing. But yeah, I, but out of the three of us, I mean, you've got uh, all three members of Team Storm. You have an amazing artist. You have an amazing stud. And then you have the rookie of the year. Let's just, I mean, come on. It, who, what, what else? I mean, BC, answer, feel free to answer. What, is there anything that would compare? Is there anything out there that you would say maybe, maybe this that I can disagree with and tell you it's Team Storm? Okay. Some fraternity mentions. Mm -hmm. what, what about the fraternity? What about the fraternity being mentioned? What about them? Just, I think, in response to your question. Oh, I thought that they were mentioned in the chat. You threw me off there, sorry. Good Jiminy Christmas. And, and I also had on my list, I'm crossing off now, Chris LaRusso. I want a Chris LaRusso t-shirt. That's all I want, and that's why I had him on my list. So I just, wanted, I just wanted to make sure everyone keeping track at home wasn't wondering. What would, what would Chris LaRusso's t-shirt be? I would assume some type of royal emblem type okay. of thing. Yeah, he really likes that in the tights. Yes, yeah. I think it would be something along those lines. Um, Some, something decorative? Yes. I mean, I would love a t-shirt just with Chris LaRusso's face on it, just smiling. Ooh. I would love that. Um, big fan of what LaRusso does in and outside the ring. So, nothing but pause. And, and BC Steel as well, um, to complete the trio there. I, I'm a fan of what all three of you do. Just stay away from Team Storm for the time being. BC says, Sydney, Sydney uh, to your question, but sure. answer to him. Sure. Um, Crosby comes close. The fraternity comes close as well. And have to give Team Storm, uh, to give it to Team Storm in the end. No one will ever give it to Team Storm in the end. You give it to them first. Thank you very much. Anyway, 
But yeah, those guys are pretty cool. Oh, by the way, back to my list. I wanted uh, to bring up, I'm a huge, huge Godzilla fan. That's been the one thing that has been keeping me calm while I've been angry. I thought people should know that. If there's ever a day where Jackson Argos is angry or upset, Godzilla calms me down. How awesome is Godzilla? So I brought that up. And, and Netflix has also kept me very, very calm. Um, so if anyone ever has suggestions of shows for Netflix when I'm angry, let me know what what I can watch. So I was able I was able there to to cover everything that's bothering me, everything that's making me angry. I feel a little better. I feel a little relieved. But but the biggest thing though is I, I need to make sure that everything I've now talked about gets taken care of. That Team Storm is treated properly in the tag team division. That that Jerry Lawler stays away from my birthday party. That's that's a big one to me. We're gonna be my hometown for my birthday party. Are you kidding me? That that there is an extreme amount of eyes on the anniversary of Team Storm forming in Elizabeth, Pennsylvania. There's just lots of things. If you watch back and write down exactly what I talked about, you'll know exactly how to fix my anger. Because nobody wants an angry Argos. Is is, is that fair to say? I'm a fun guy. Dare I say I'm a mushroom? Can I still make that joke? Is that mushroom still relevant? Is that joke still relevant? Sure. Is that still a thing? I just saying, just saying. So th- these are my complaints. These are the things that's. But how am I doing on time, Sorg? Because um, I feel well, a lot better now. I think I think we're towards the end, and uh, we're toward the end. We're, we're towards the end of your okay. time, and we we still have a lot of questions in the chat, though. Sure, sure. Um, how about we go? Let's do this. Let's do this. So I can end uh, on a fairly positive note. Let's go to the chat room. I assume that I have a bundle of fans. I will take one more question from our fans. Sorg, feel free to pick, and I will answer that, and then we'll wrap things up. How's that sound? Okay, just give me one second. Well, first of all, we do have some suggestions. Stranger Things. There's a Godzilla versus uh, King Kong movie coming up. So yeah, I know you, there you is. Have that. Want, I'm a big. I'm lobbying to be in it. Jeez, would love to be in it. Oh, see, just, just talking about Godzilla made me happy. Would so. you be King Kong or Godzilla? No, I well in that situation I would probably want to play if you've seen the gods or the King Kong movie that just came out I would want to play John Goodman's son or not son maybe a distant relative of some way shape or form I've had this all thought up in my head I have fan fiction out out the wazoo so anyway what what else we got this is this is actually good this is good uh, talking about Godzilla and and what was it? I've I've watched Stranger Things by the way I've seen it so whew, this is actually. This is good. Well, Jimmy Vegas has popped in the chat. Jimmy Vegas. Yes. What do you got to say? Um, nothing yet. You just want to see if he missed his part because I think he saw the list. Uh, Jim. So Jimmy shows up at the last second. Like I'm going to talk about him now. Uh, Jack Pollock is in the in the. Jack chat. Pollock's in here now. That makes me happy. I'm not an angry Argos when Jack Pollock's around. This is great. This is fantastic. I'm staying all night. Good. Yeah, good. yeah. Who else is in there? BC Steel, Jimmy Vegas, Jack Pollock. This is awesome. Justin Plummer's in there. I don't care about Justin Plummer. I don't want to talk about Justin Plummer. Okay. Don't care. Heard he's having a baby. Don't care. Really? Don't he's care. Ha- he's having a kid. I don't That's, care. Got, he, he already has he kids. His... I don't care. Okay. That baby could be a star of a show called Babies I Don't Care About. So there's that. Just saying. And, and just more questions about uh, Jonathan Gresham. They're, they're, they're asking about Jonathan Gresham. Who? There's a few of them in there. I already said I'm done talking about Jonathan Gresham. I'm sick of this. Pack my stuff up. Pack it up. I'm done. And I'm not going to come back on this show if you keep this crap up. Jonathan Gresham can kiss my ass. Do I get to keep the hat? Uh, indie uh, mayhem show guys, Jackson Argos. Um, thank you for being on. He's out. He's gone. He's gone. Um, uh, check him out. I, I, he's on Twitter and everything. Jackson Argos on on everything. Uh, thanks everybody in the chat room. Um, this hat is really itchy. Uh, check out everything I, I read. And just knocked over Hulk Hogan. Uh, until next time, support uh, indie wrestling and um, Tim Hortons. See you next time. Oh. 
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.